Hi guys, uh, Sterling here again. It's been a, quite some time since I've made a video about um, the Discovery project, but I'm finally at a point where the end is in sight. I'm going to be painting it, and I thought, hey, good opportunity to make a quick video. Um, not a lot has changed with the car, it's just been a lot of little details. Uh, you know, going through the engineering process, you've got to fix up a bunch of things which the engineer picks up. A lot of it was around the handling. But, um, yeah, a bunch of photos are up on the blog uh, about, you know, making the snorkels and all of that. But all the major items were covered in, in previous videos. Um, just been doing a few little bits around the engine, breathers and whatever else. I've got to do all of that. And I've still got to uh, rig up the lockers. Pipes are sitting in here for the lockers. But I still haven't put the, sol uh, the solenoid valves in or rigged up the compressor, which you see over there. Um, so there's still a bit to do, but that's not important for getting it registered, which is what I want to do really soon. Um, it's all stripped down, as you can see. Guards are off, doors are off, getting it ready for, for painting. Um, one of the few advantages of uh, having an LPG-powered car. Good old barbecue bottle to be able to move it. Um, because I've taken the tray off, uh, the transmission oil cooler lines have been looped. Same thing with the, uh, the engine oil lines, they're all looped over there as well. And here are my homemade temperature sensors which aren't doing anything at the moment. So that's for the transmission and that's for the engine oil and they control the cooling fans. Um, it's good to see some work that I did years ago because I'm now into the 10th year of this job but all of this is stuff I did probably about 7 years ago which is holding up pretty well. The lift of the spring perches, you can see those pieces I put in there. The cutting of the chassis, awful welding. Just turn away, don't look at that. I'm not the greatest, uh, the best stick welder. But oversized rear sway bar, one of the things to do for the engineer because of the handling requirements. Uh, the car is lifted a long way with the larger tires, the lifted springs, the body lift. So, um, I had to get uprated sway bars. But um, anyway, this is what I'm going to be using to paint the car, Raptor liner. And I've got my tint, which is the, uh, the same color as the Land Rover G4 series vehicles, which I quite like. So the car is going to be orange, which I think is going to be pretty cool. Um, not much to show in the cab. Um, ah, I will show one quick thing. If I go around here, one of the problems with running such big tires, and if you want to get a car engineered, is speedo calibration. So I have stuck in, which is a bit hard to see, an electronic to mechanical speedo driver, which you see there. And that cable runs from here to the speedo off a sensor on the transfer case. So the Speedo is completely adjustable. Um, you know, I can set it to whatever calibration I want. If I change the tire sizes, I just change, I just go into the coding or the programming setting of that Speedo uh, module and I can adjust it pretty easily. But anyway, time to get to business. I have a little bit of corrosion that I've got to deal with here, but that'll sand right out. Um, get a bit of primer paint onto it in the areas that need it. Um, all the panels are here, so there's the bonnet. I've done a previous video on making that scoop, which was a very time-consuming process. It's made the bonnet quite heavy, but um, it is quite heavy for an aluminium bonnet, but um, unfortunately it's a little bit small. It doesn't catch as much air as I wanted it to, but anyway, can't do anything about it now. And over here, I borrowed my neighbor's frame because I didn't know how else I was going to pull off this uh, this tray. But here is the tray. It's been a long time since, since it's been off the car. Engine oil lines, uh, transmission oil lines, the two gas tanks are here. Uh, voltage sensitive switch to um, tie in the backup, the secondary battery. And here is a time point for the gas tanks to go to the engine. Um, everything else is pretty much unchanged. Uh, it's hanging to one side because I took out that battery to be able to start the car, but um, everything is pretty much like it is. I'm going to be painting a black strip with the Reiner liner, uh, sorry, with the <laughs> competitive product, 
the uh, Raptor liner. I'll do a strip here just to tidy this up down there. So it should look pretty nice when it is all done. There are the guards with the holes for the snorkels. There are the snorkels, which took a long time to make. I had to weld them and then polish the tubes down to the shapes. Doors are over there. Excuse the mess. I've just been focusing on trying to get this all done. Um, there's the gun that I'll be using for painting. Never used this product before, so we'll see how it goes. And uh, the remains of the materials which I used to make the snorkels are here. Made it out of pipe and elbows. Anyway, time to get the business. I just wanted to do a quick rundown on where everything is at. So um, hopefully by the end of this weekend, the car will be painted. Here's hoping. Let's see. Not particularly pretty, but uh, I think Time to get onto some sanding. I may have said time to start sanding, but I do need to give it a bit of a quick clean. So, hitting it with some wax and grease remover first, and then sand, and then wax and grease remover again. Probably would have been a better idea to have washed it first. Thirty years worth grub and dirt here. Sanding time, just to rough it all up and take away some of the rust. After taking off that surface rust, I'll have to um, hit it with a bit of um, etch primer because the uh, Raptor liner doesn't work on bare metal. So anyway, off we go. Final wax in the grease. Uh, any last traces of oil. So the uh, the car is basically sanded down and degreased as best as I could um, before putting on the um, Raptor liner apparently you need to cover any exposed metal and I've rubbed through in a number of areas especially where because of the amount of time corrosion was coming especially along there so I'm going to go around the car hit it with a few coats well one coat of etch primer and then it'll be on to masking so but surely we're getting there. I think I'm going to tape up the rear window. I have a feeling I'm going to get uh, paint on it. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure uh, some people would have been cringing at what I was doing before. Anyway, better now. Do all of this work, I need to get spray paint on the glass, can you imagine? Some of the things you do sometimes. I have got the window masked, in case you're wondering. I did all the masking, so uh, I'll be painting tomorrow and um, mask all, all this up tonight and then tomorrow I'll prepare the doors, the guards and the bonnet and spray it all together. A little bit hard working at night, but anyway.
Righto, day two. Um, the car is basically all masked up now, so that's the uh, the big lump of work done. So it is basically ready for painting. I'm a bit worried that my fingers put less bit of grease around some of the areas, so I'll just quickly go around it with some wax and grease remover. But aside from that, all done. And now I am going to move on to the next most complicated part, which is the doors. I'm going to sand them down, mask them up, and then the front guards, and then um, ready to paint. So let's see how we go. Righto, all done, prepped, sanded, all of that jazz, the wind has picked up though, it's going to be a pain in the butt, the doors were probably pretty tricky, but uh, about to uh, do all the tricky areas with the grip four, so that the um, Raptor liner can uh, stick a little bit better, especially in little areas like these, let's see how we go. Okay, I uh, had a little bit of a setback, uh, the wind kicked up and I've ended up waiting for a while, uh, probably about an hour and a half now. Um, it has dropped down a bit, but there's still the occasional gust, but I think by the time I'm ready to go, it'll be, uh, it'll be good. Just in case I've moved everything inside the garage, I'll, uh, if necessary, I'll spray that in there and I have a if I need to, I've jury rigged up a really weird ventilation system using an inline ducted fan with the mask. It'll look weird, but anyway, if I have to spray paint in there, I'll use it. Anyway, let's see how we go. Um, I'm going to first uh, do a trial spray on that to see if I can get the effect that I need. And hopefully by the time that's all set up, uh, this wind has picked up again, but it was dropping off. Anyway, I'll see how we go. I might wait a little bit longer and set up a little bit more lighting. I've got some more lights which I can use. So we'll see. We'll play it by ear. Well, I'm about to uh, to mix up the uh, the materials <laughs> very gracefully on the floor, as you can see. Um, the wind has settled down. There's occasional gusts of wind. I'm going to put the mask on, so I'm not really going to be able to talk, but uh, what I'm going to do now is... Uh, the nozzle on the gun has got an adjustment, so I'm going to see if I can get a texture that I like, lock it in, and then uh, move on to spraying the car. Fingers crossed. Gotta shake it for two minutes. This will hopefully be the color that comes out. Fingers crossed.
So I got a chance to look at this car in the light. Um, oh, got a little caterpillar cruising around. It's amazing how these things get to these sorts of places. Um, overall, not too bad. Um, the panels not having the same colored primer means that it's a little bit visible. And I realized that I missed a spot. This is what happens when you paint at night. So I'm going to have to remask, tidy that up, tidy this up. Um, and you can see that I could do with another coat across the back here. It's a little bit uh, dark in areas. So mask it up. Uh, I, I had to pull the masking off because um, otherwise uh, you can't cut the paint when you remove the tape if you let it set too much. So it had to come off one way or the other. Anyway, um, very interesting texture. I'm going to paint this black next, but I'll have to do that after I tidy up these other areas with the next coat. Progress, slowly. Well, the saga continues. I, uh, I honestly thought this was going to take me one evening to spray paint everything, but um, yeah, that didn't quite happen. Quite a lot more effort in spray painting than I thought. Especially when you do it at night and um, you miss a patch because you just can't tell. Even though I had a very powerful light, I missed that spot. So uh, today, yesterday I masked the whole car up again. And then today uh, during my lunch break, because I work from home, I tried to come out and uh, just use the opportunity to give it another coat. But my neighbors were having lunch out in the patio and they really got very upset about all the, uh, the odors. So... I was only able to do a little bit there and I brushed up a few additional areas. The paint is a little bit translucent. I really wish I had gone over the whole car with a single primer, but pretty much eh, this stuff isn't really going to be visible. Um, the real bad news is though is that I only used about a quarter of a bottle before it was just getting way too, uh, too upsetting for the neighbors, but at least I managed to cover that up. Um, it's a bit hard to tell at night, but I'm pretty happy with, with the way it all looks. Uh, it's not perfectly even everywhere, but honestly, that was the point of using this product. Imperfections really don't matter so much because it is a rough texture. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with the color and I'm happy with the product that I've used. Um, definitely recommend it, but yeah, it needs a few more coats than what, for some reason, other YouTube videos make you believe. So tomorrow, this car is gonna be taken in and I'm gonna drop the tray on it. Again, um, I'm waiting for some more uh, Raptor liner so that I can actually coat all of that. Um, everything, yeah, I mean, I, I threw away three quarters of a bottle today and after that I had nothing left. So I've still got to do the bonnet, all the guards, the doors. Um, after that is on the car, I'll prepare everything that's going to be black. Uh, I think I mentioned before, but this is going to be uh, a black trim. Now, obviously, now that I know better, that white and that black is going to be a problem, so I'm going to have to uh, primer paint all of that before um, applying the Raptor liner, otherwise you're going to see the different colors. Anyway, progress, progress, but um, I am really happy with the color. It's going to look, that's a really nice color. Anyway, the saga continues.